McBriar Samuel Lanyon DeMarco, or Mac DeMarco, is a widely beloved Canadian indie artist with an extensive discography garnering him millions of plays across multiple streaming platforms. With his first album drop in 2012, Mac has been around and toured for over a decade, resulting in quite a few random situations and pieces of media left under the radar to most. If you don't know how these icebergs work, basically the information is going to get more sensitive or less known as we go down, and also shout out to the person who made this iceberg, they deleted their post history so I can't really say their name. Kira McNally, better known as Kiki, is Mac DeMarco's current girlfriend. The two met when they were 14 and later became a couple five years later. Mac keeps his personal life quite private, so the status of the relationship is technically unknown, but there's been no announcement of a breakup. In 2019, Mac caused confusion by announcing that the two were expecting a child and were going to get married. This resulted in Far Out releasing this article, and then later correcting it five hours later. Viceroy refers to the fifth track on Mac DeMarco's tour album, titled Ode to Viceroy. Viceroy was Mac's favourite brand of cigarettes to smoke, which was the key inspiration for the track. In a recent interview with Associated Press, Mac actually revealed that he no longer smokes cigarettes and enjoys the freedom of not having a nicotine addiction. Haven't had any nicotine in about uh, a little over a year now, I think. And you just... Many of Mac's album releases saw a demo version come after the official album release. This shows a deeper insight into his creative process by showing the initial idea for the song versus its polished version. If you give these demos a listen, there's also quite a few left out songs that weren't included in the official releases. A performance by Mac was featured on Season 3 Episode 4 of The Eric Andre Show. If you know anything about The Eric Andre Show, what eventually happened to Mac should come as no surprise. Just have a look. Now it's time for Attack DeMarco! Go get me! During an interview with the PBS NewsHour, Mac was showing off some unreleased music, including an upbeat, funky track, which he described as garbage, but fun to make. Yeah. This snippet became popular, causing fans to demand a release, but it was later actually released on his 199 track album, One Wayne G. You can find this track under the name 2019-07-24. Pickles was Mac DeMarco's pet cat, who made an appearance in a YouTube video titled Pickles in 2018. Sadly, Pickles passed away, which was announced on February 16th, 2023 through a tribute video. Makeout Video Tape was an indie rock duo involving Mac and Alex Calder. Their releases predated Mac's solo career, releasing five albums between 2019 and 2011. Pepperoni Playboy is the seventh track on Max Salad Day's demo album, and also the title of a documentary made about him. In this documentary, he goes through his old apartment studio, him touring in China, and also other random anecdotes. In 2019, popular bassist and musician Thundercat shared an image of him and Mac DeMarco on his Instagram. The post involved the two sitting side by side completely nude, with their respective instruments only covering themselves. Tripping Out was a Vice-made show that followed an artist's day in a specific town they were touring at, followed by a performance by them. In the episode featuring Mac, we follow him exploring the Canadian city of Dawson, where he swallows a toe submerged in whiskey, followed by him playing an acoustic set. Although more episodes of this Vice series was planned, the Mac DeMarco episode was the only one that seemed to air. Angus DeMarco is Mac's mother. As a single mother, she was responsible for raising Mac as well as his younger brother. She's actively supported his music career and has made a number of appearances at the festivals and shows he plays. His original full name was Werner Winfield McBride Smith IV. Due to the absence of his father and his unwillingness to pay child support, Mac DeMarco's mother later changed his name to McBride Samuel Lanyon DeMarco. On the 25th episode of Ethan Klein and Trisha Pater's podcast Frenemies, Mac was seen judging a cook-off between the two hosts. He gave his expert opinion on their pasta, mashed potatoes, scrambled eggs, and steak. Dave F*** is a character played by Mac in a YouTube comedy sketch called Backup. The sketch shows Mac's character as a man who dedicates his life to helping people back up their cars. In 2015, during a karaoke set, Mac was seen getting a little bit more than tipsy, resulting in all of his clothes coming off and a drumstick going where no drumstick should ever go. The incident was recorded and later became the inspiration for the track Freaking Out the Neighborhood. During the PBS NewsHour interview, Mac revealed that he made a game called Shave Me, where the objective is to shave the character on screen. This game is still up and playable today. 
Cardboard Queen refers to Mac's iconic guitar that he used between 2009 and 2014. The guitar earned its name by having a piece of cardboard in place of the pick guard. It appears to be a custom made guitar as it has a Tesco body and a Moore's right neck and headstock, making it a Frankenstein of a guitar. As McNamara was releasing his Here Comes the Cowboy album in 2019, controversy grew as artist Mitski had released an album called Cowboy only a year prior. The main controversy was that both albums shared a track called Nobody. McNamara claims that this was all a coincidence though. McNamara's father Max Smith was absent and left McNamara when he was only five. He was dealing with alcoholism at the time, which Mac mentioned during an interview with Pitchfork magazine. Mac later dedicated a song to his father titled My Old Man, which was the first track on his This Old Dog album. Throughout the song, he talks about how he feels distant with his father, and also how he feels like he's becoming like him in certain ways. When rapper Logic released his debut novel Supermarket, he also released a soundtrack along with it. Mac helped produce two of the songs in this album, including I'm Probably Gonna Rock Your World and Vacation From Myself. When McDemarco released his Another One album in 2015, the final track, My House By The Water, involved a piano instrumental, as well as him revealing his entire address at the time. 6802 Bayfield Ave, Arverne, New York. Stop on by, I'll make you a cup of coffee. See you later. Many fans would begin visiting his place as expected, but then he soon moved to LA afterwards. Automatic Painter MD is another game Mac DeMarco made, but rather than shaving a man on screen, the objective was to create trippy art through choosing various shapes and colours. Upon downloading the game, you're given the instruction to pair the game with any music of your choosing, and there's also an online gallery showing off people's artwork they've made. When Mac DeMarco was in his mid-teens, he was involved in a band called Meat Cleavers, where he actually made his first song called Going to the Bar. This was revealed in a YouTube video titled Mac DeMarco Test Press. My Great Movie refers to Mac DeMarco's first public YouTube video, which involves 24 seconds of Mac showing off his double chin and making random noises. The face he pulls in the video is the current profile pic of the channel still to this day. At the 2018 Tropicalia Festival, hosted at Long Beach, California, Mac was seen singing a karaoke set in an inflatable turkey costume. In March 2022, Mac DeMarco released a five-part video series titled Advanced Studio Recording Techniques. In these videos, he explains various studio techniques whilst also covered completely in Vaseline. You're watching Advanced Studio Recording Techniques. I'm your host, Mac. This entry refers to a snippet in the Passing Out Pieces music video. Mac DeMarco's girlfriend Kira started a cooking show called Kira's Kitchen. There's only one episode and it involves Kira showing how to make a batch of cookies. The video replicates Mac's cursed style of filming using a VHS to record very harsh audio and video. This entry also involves Mac's girlfriend Kira and involves a YouTube video posted 10 years ago. The title pretty much speaks for itself and involves Kira looking terrified over this ethereal synth music. The drumstick incident wasn't Mac's only scandal involving his ass. During a Nardwa interview, Mac DeMarco explained that during a show at Ochi Chinatown in Vancouver, that he hung from the roof and placed his thumb you know where. Nardwa actually gifted an image to Mac DeMarco of the whole situation. During the Planned Parenthood fundraiser in 2020, Mac revealed a song for the first time called Proud True Toyota. This concert was during the middle of the COVID pandemic, so artists would live stream their sets from their own house. The song involves how much Mac loves Toyotas and how reliable they are. The song eventually did get released and it's on the One Wayne G album. Mac's iconic red pair of Vans was worn in 49 different shows across multiple different countries. The shoes were auctioned off with the final bid sitting at $21,000. There was lots of speculation about how these shoes would be very smelly, which caused Mac to release a video called the official smell test, which involved him and Kira smelling the shoes to prove that they weren't stinky. They're fun. Cam Tony is a YouTube channel run by Mac DeMarco, which involves live streams of him showing his music making process. He mainly created demos and messed around, but he also featured some early versions of songs that are in current albums. The channel hasn't been live in four years and is very inactive. At the Four Knots Festival in 2014, Mac received a tattooed pig fetus in a jar from a fan. The tattoo depicts a naked version of Mac DeMarco as a mermaid. 
Mac is featured in a song called Die Mission along with the duo The Garden. The song's music video involves Mac being a talk show host, who later reveals that he's actually Satan. Freemasonry is the world's largest secret society, with their rituals and practices mostly kept hidden from the public. The iconography involved in Freemasonry involves various items and symbols that relate to their teachings. Mac DeMarco's songs such as On the Level, Chamber of Reflection, and On the Square directly talk about the symbols and practices involved with the Freemasons group. Furthermore, his old duo makeout videotape made a song called Freemasons Prayer. A recount uploaded to Standard Criteria in 2015 details the author going to a Mac DeMarco concert and then going to an after party with them. Whilst intoxicated, Mac started filming his own friend undressed on the couch enjoying his own company. This was in the presence of minors and Mac's friend was forcibly removed, resulting in him following along. John Lent was a pianist and bass player for Mac DeMarco's touring band from 2015 to 2018. After pleading guilty to SA in 2018, he received a two-year prison sentence. In a video titled Kerwin Frost Talks to Mac DeMarco, Mac reveals the night that he met fellow artist King Krull that he washed his hands in his stream and maybe got a little in his mouth. I don't think we played swords, I think I just, maybe I got a little bit in my mouth too. This entry involves the tragedy that took place in the Parkland High School in 2018. I won't go into details, but the perpetrator claimed to be listening to Salad Days while carrying out the act. The theory that Mac DeMarco was planted by Big Tobacco is a running gag within the community. This was a strong theory until Mac DeMarco disproved it in 2023 as he claimed to stop smoking cigarettes. 